All right, well, let's go beyond the ticker. We have Elon Musk tweeting that his boring company will have its Las Vegas commercial tunnel hopefully fully operational in 2020. When asked about an update on projects in the Bay Area, Musk tweeted, Boring Company is completing its first commercial tunnel in Vegas going from the convention center to the Strip. Then we'll work on other projects. Julia, it's interesting, the timing of this, do you buy it? No, I think this is a goofball project. We, we, we keep talking about these boring company tunnels, whether it's in the L.A. area or Vegas. Let me tell you something about Las Vegas because I frequent that city for work only. You go from the airport to your hotel. Oh, big whoop de doo I need to get there faster. And they're always like, oh, the traffic's so bad. It's not that bad. And actually, you kind of want to look at the strip when you're there. And then guess what? You're in your hotel casino. You're not going anywhere. You're walking around unless he wants to put a boring tunnel in my casino hotel so I can get to my room faster. I don't have to. I don't know. It's, it's just a lot of walking in Vegas. You don't ever see the sunlight. So basically your taxi ride, your Uber ride from the airport is the last chance to even see sunlight, see the outside. So you're saying While that people you're there, really Elon, go it. focus on the Tesla deliveries. Focus on Solar City. Work on those solar panels. Who needs the boring company? Actually, unless you come here to the New York City and fix the subway. Well, I Dan, I know that you're going to be out there for CES. You might not want to be traveling around the city, but you're going to force to be going all of these different locations. What do you think about this? Yeah, I mean, God, I wish it was going to be opening for CES because there really is, I mean, the city is inundated. It's the largest uh, convention that they have. So getting around is virtually impossible. We're talking about cab lines that are upwards of an hour long traffic that'll have you sitting there for 40 minutes just to go through one light. So it really does get bad. I do think that this is an interesting idea, whether or not we'll eventually see something like this on a grand scale, uh, perhaps on the East Coast or on the West Coast. I think that remains to be seen. This is really uh, seems to be the, the main test of uh, whether or not it will come to fruition. All right. Well, Dan Halley, we're going to leave it there. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.